Sophia and we're here today at the BBC Studios in Maida Vale with awards for young musicians and the BBC Symphony Orchestra. Just like the young people in this film, I was part of AYM's awards programme when I was a teenager. I received crucial funding and support to help me fulfil my musical ambitions. I now work as a musician, actor and a musical mentor for AYM. I'm here to meet some of the young people they're working with today. So we're on our way to Maida Vale Studios One, where the BBC Symphony Orchestra are rehearsing with some of the young musicians for their performance later on today. They're playing two exciting orchestral works, the finale of Stravinsky's Firebird Suite and Holst's Mars from the Planets. Conducting the young musicians and the BBC Symphony Orchestra is Duncan Ward. Like me, Duncan also received support from AYM as a teenager. Keris from West Wales is spending the day with the BBC Symphony Orchestra's principal harpist. Do you have a favourite thing that you've done so far this week? Um, play the piece Mars. How did you start playing the harp? We were in a national um, harp competition, oh. but I wasn't um, competing, and um, this was three years ago, and we stopped at a stall of harps and I, I didn't um, know what a harp was or anything and I went behind one and started playing the National Welsh Anthem. Just by ear? Yeah. Amazing. So it was meant to be, you were meant to play the harp. <laughs> That's really cool. So having played here today, what is the one thing that will influence your playing, do you think? Um, counting. Counting? Oh yeah. Super important. Easily forgotten. This is Made of Vale Studios 2, where there's about to be a rehearsal for a brand new piece specially commissioned for today. AYM and the BBC asked jazz pianist and composer Pete Latanka to write a piece inspired by the many different musical journeys taken by AYM award winners. Hi, so can you tell us who you are and what instrument you are playing today with the orchestra? Mm -hmm. So I'm Amrit and I play the Durava, which is a South Asian classical instrument. I'm Dilwaj and I play the Dabla. So with today's ensembles, mm -hmm. um, would you guys like to say a bit about the one you're in? Yeah, so we're both in the new commissions one and I've never played with like anyone who does Western classical music before, so it's quite new for me. Because I think for me, knowing and just having that experience with other people and someone with a different genre is quite yeah. interesting. I've never also played with a um, Western player, so in my opinion it's actually an opportunity and it's very good. We're currently in Maida Vale Studios 3, where some of the young pianists are about to take part in a piano masterclass. International concert pianist Tom Poster was invited to curate an All Things Piano Day. Would you tell us a bit about yourself and the instrument you play? Well, I'm the Shari and I'm 12 years old. I live in Northampton and I play the piano. Um, so what has the experience of coming down to London been like to work with Tom? Well, it was a pleasure to be here at this music event for young musicians and working with Tom was inspiring and really fun. What was one of the things you learnt today you, that you particularly enjoyed? Yeah, like um, what the way that he put feelings into the music and how that can like change the piece a lot with different dynamics. Do you have anything in particular that inspires you to to create music yourself? When my mum's not well, I'll just play music for her and it will make her light up. I think it's really nice when you like create something specially for someone. Yeah. Do you know in a few years what you might like to do on your instrument? Well, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but I could be like a concert pianist, a composer, or even a teacher. Brilliant. 
The annual awards day is part of AYM's wider support for award winners, all of whom have been identified as having exceptional talent and who face financial and other barriers to their musical progression. The awards days are free to attend and AYM raises funds to cover travel and accommodation costs so that everyone, from the far reaches of Scotland to the tip of Cornwall, can take part.